Please Miss stop them. What D and D's about? Sims. Stalling. <laughs> <laughs> um. So last we left off, you guys had some nice conversations in the manor. Uh, Levy hung out in the library. I was pretty snazzy. Turns out Hawk's a mysterious <laughs> robot creature. What's up with that? Um, things are things are wild up in Umlal House. Um, but yeah, um, in the the immediate past, you guys were all just in the library, um, looking looking at books. Uh, Levy managed to find an, an interesting one about the continent to the south and started interrogating certain fellow party members, um, as you do. Uh, and then you guys were making plans to go to, to breakfast. Um, Hawk makes his excuses and expresses he's not, he, he wants to do a little bit more exploring. Um, and we'll rejoin you guys later. I send Hawk into the into the hedge maze out back, <laughs> never to be seen again. All right, Hawk goes out to the garden and then the hedge maze. Um, so, where are the rest of you guys going? Uh, Lish, the previous night, found a uh, nice little breakfast nook to sit in um otherwise there's like the main dining hall or there's the room where everyone else is <laughs> i mean where is the food at where the food be you don't know <laughs> <laughs> well, i suppose we go and check it out um i mean i'd assume the kitchen is where the food is at You could Good ask guess. someone, you could explore, you could just start eating at the house, whatever you guys want to do. Probably wander right. towards where everybody is being housed. All right. Um, yeah, when, when you approach, there are some people that are already starting to leave. So it's not as crowded as it, as it once was. Namely, there is a group of guards, um, the captain of, of which seems to be kind of giving orders to people and um they they're get clearly getting ready to to go um but there is uh uh you can actually see gentry running around helping helping feed some people and the the plates that are being uh passed out aren't aren't too big they they look like kind of your your basic uh, scrambled eggs and toast, but with this volume of people, it's kind of understandable. Gentry is such a good boy. Are the, <laughs> such a good boy. Are the people around getting food? Do they have, seem to have food? Are they receiving food from anywhere that's noticeable? I mean, as I said, Gentry is running around helping pass out plates. Um, he's kind of doing the thing where he's got as many as he can carry, and he's kind of just like shouting out, "Hey, is anyone hungry?" And if <laughs> there, there are people that are like waving or anything. Uh, he goes over, gives them a plate, then he runs back down to the kitchen. Such a good boy. I guess could harass a small child or go right to the kitchen. <laughs> Tobias would probably uh, move toward or head towards the uh, kitchen so that way um, doesn't bother Gentry from assisting people and stuff. All right. Um, and uh... Are you going into the kitchen? Uh, or are you just heading in that direction? Heading in that direction, and when they reach the kitchen, like, he'll poke his head in, um, see kind of what's going on. Like, does it look super hectic in there? Or... I mean, as you head down the stairs, um, it kind of sounds busy. 
Um, you can actually see Gentry's mother, the lady that was in the petrified room. Uh, she seems to be the head cook, and she's kind of running around giving orders and help uh, helping like uh, some of the uh, the other servants make up plates in which they're sitting on the for lack of a better word the uh, kitchen island um, and Gentry is uh, taking the plates from the uh, the island and running up and then running back down taking more plates and running back up to, to make sure that people who want to be fed are fed uh, Tobias will uh kind of clears his throat um, and uh, gets the attention of, like, the first person, like, closest to the doorway um, and asks them, is it alright if we take a few of these? Uh, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, uh, go, go ahead. Um, kind of, like, what glances at you and assumes you're just one of the the people regurgitated by the the demon. <laughs> Thank you. I didn't want to assume you get in anyone's way. And then he will go and um, get a uh, few plates and pass them to people. All right. So. People who are eating, it's Tobias, Levy, Lish, Demir. B, B probably eating. I can Aaron. Assume. Is Aaron with us? No, Aaron was uh, still asleep at the time that y'all wandered off. Right. Tobias was grab a plate for him, though. Aw. Uh, Aaron, Aaron can have Lish's plate. He's not going to take one. <laughs> oh, okay. Then uh, it's just Tobias, Demir, Levy, Aaron, B. Cool. Uh, and with that, Tobias is going to head back to the room. A to place the plate there for Aaron. And B, he also doesn't want to eat any like <laughs> First eating in the comfort of his room, then... All right. Is valid. <laughs> right. Um, is Demir still uh, holding on to his upper arm linked with his? Uh, probably. Probably she helps him take the plates up. Um, because that's a, that's a lot of plates for only two two hands. Um, so Demir helped with the. Well, I imagine, like, Actually, he, he gives plates to, like, he gives one to Demir, and then he passes one to Levy, and passes one to B, and he has two. But Demir can probably help uh, actually doors well, and stuff. Yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm helping. Um, while we're in the kitchen, I'm going to look around. Is there, um, can I see any, uh, like, fresh cream or milk or anything like that? Um, I mean, roll an investigation check. <laughs> Just between all, all right. the, the kind of chaos um, of. Oh, that is a wonderful roll to start out with. Uh, that's an eight. <laughs> I mean, you start to look look around, um, but then the servants that are working in there, are, you're, it's clear that you're in their way and they're not happy about that. So you kind of back off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair enough. All right. I'm just going to go with, uh, with Toby then and uh, help him get the doors open and... Uh, are we going to eat downstairs, or...? Up in the room? You can eat downstairs if you'd like. I'm just rather... 
done dealing with strangers at the moment. I, uh, I can relate. Um, are, did everyone else come up with us or are they all staying downstairs? Not staying down here. Levy's gonna follow the, the general group. Um, obviously she doesn't want to be alone with a bunch of strangers either. I'm gonna say that uh, <laughs> B offers her hand to Levy to hold. Okay, so, uh, everyone's going up to the room, make it back to the room. Tobias, uh, he's going to set his plate aside and then walk over to Aaron with the plate and then, um, kind of just gently, uh, rouse him. All right, man's... Aaron's groggy. <laughs> Sleeping in really doesn't suit him. He looks up at uh, uh, his eyes and looks up at Obi and then just kind of looks around and immediately sees that Hawk is not sitting behind him and like <laughs> I just knocked my earbuds out of my ears. And just kind of jokes his face up to Toby and is like, where's Hawk? He went to go explore the grounds. Oh, okay. Okay. What smells good? Food. Uh, oh. I brought you breakfast. And he oh. gives the plate to Aaron. Thank you. That's so considerate. Mm. Gonna start eating. He's ravenous. Mm. Ravenous. <laughs> <laughs> um, Levy's gonna see that ear and was just like, holy shit. Uh, like had a moment for a second and she's like, just, like <laughs> sit next to him. I'm just gonna sit next to him and just start eating. I sent him into the hedge maze. <laughs> Forever. Forever. Presumably. I'm imagining <laughs> the hedge maze from The Shining right now. That's what's it going to be. Head. Exactly. Imagining <laughs> that. Hmm. Little weird topiaries. <laughs> <laughs> Demir is going to find a place to sit down and kind of poke at the food, eat a little bit, but I mean, after an exhausting day <laughs> yesterday, I think we're all just kind of like, oh, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> finally catches up to you. <laughs> Maybe he's gonna mm-hmm. just like kind of just eat like normal. somehow you wake up more tired than when you went to bed. Somehow. <laughs> uh, well, uh, we're not heading out till the till the evening, right? Mm-hmm. I think so. Hopefully. If we can find some Probably horses. Confirm that. Oh. Oh, horses. Yeah, that sounds like it might be a problem. <sighs> we did let them all out. <clears throat> I didn't see oh, sure, any. I don't need to know that. Avery, I didn't see any like traces of the horses while I was out and about last night. There weren't any that seemed to be decently close by that I could see or 
Uh, I mean, you didn't really roll an investigation or nature to try and That's try true. and find them. You weren't looking for them specifically. That would take two I different really times. Mostly you're looking for a place to, to hang out. <laughs> <laughs> and I think at that, Aaron's gonna just kind of go scans like he's thinking for a second. And then turn to Ish and say, can you do a horse? <laughs> Lish's Cap- eyebrows just kind of answer that for you. Lish's eyebrows just kind of slowly <laughs> raise at you. <laughs> Aaron, that's I can go away. ahead and answer that one. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> And you you get the impression it would be probably a cold day in hell before he lets somebody ride him. <laughs> and at that, Aaron's eyes just he won't even let me ride him. <laughs> I can. He won't even let me speed. ride him. <laughs> won't he? <laughs> <laughs> I can see if I can't get some of the horses back this afternoon. All right. Well, I'll go. I'll go with you. Well, I wasn't planning on running through the woods in this case. Hmm. There, I guess. You'll see. (laughs) Aaron looks worried. (laughs) What? Nothing's going to happen. We'll be fine. Uh, I think having gotten that settled, Aaron's going to uh, put his hand on like Levy's knee. Whoa. Um, In my mind, Levy's Saucy? sitting. We're shooting our shot this morning. Saucy? In my mind. <laughs> what are her ankles showing? What? <laughs> in you said that Levy came down and sat sat near him. And in in my mind at least, she's like sitting crisscross applesauce and he just kind of chiseled. Yeah, over. pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yep. So it's 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 the newest part of her. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, she's anyway. gonna she's gonna look over at him and kind of clear her throat because it's like that was a semi-awkward moment so she's just like and so, yes yeah. hello what uh how are you how are you feeling today oh I I feel much better that's good um imagining that I'm like finishing up my plate about this about this time okay um uh, could I could I talk to you? Uh, well, of course. I was on. actually just about to <laughs> ask the same of you. <laughs> <laughs> Spider Man pointing me. <laughs> God, yes. I right. and at that, one's gonna like stand up. Um. Yeah, okay. And uh, kind of stage whisper at Toby. Um, And like gesturing with the empty plate. Where did you get this? (laughs) I got it from the kitchen. I can take them all back when we're done. So go ahead and just set it to the side. I'll take care of it. Oh, thank you. Maybe he's gonna stack her plate Thank on you. here and when he puts it down. <laughs> and it's just gonna, yeah, set the plates on the side. The end, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was All right. to gently usher him out of the room <laughs> <laughs> before anything else awkward happens. I think at this point, Aaron is. Fully ready to just be led. 
<laughs> Wherever. He's just internally combusting. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Aaron is not down with figuring out what to do. Demir's just kind of looking at this whole exchange like... Oh, Wishes to... From her children. He's, he's <laughs> judging. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right. Um... Be lead anywhere. <laughs> uh, just kind yeah. of like down the hall a little bit out of like general earshot of the party. Alright. Um Ooh. It is anyone more comfortable sitting down. I'm not sure, but it allowed to the awkwardness of the moment. So I think Aaron just kind of sits down on the floor. Can we still see you guys? Or are you just out of earshot? We're out of earshot. <laughs> out of earshot. Hey, DM, I read lips. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, if they're, they're out of earshot, but you can still see them, you can definitely read lips. <laughs> There will be no secrets in this party. <laughs> Excuse I, you, there are so many secrets in this party. You have most of the secrets in this party, you dip. <laughs> Which one? Who, me or Aaron? <laughs> what have I you got you there? A smoothie? <laughs> <laughs> I love to imagine Lish just like poking his head out of the like room to watch them down the hall. <laughs> like, oh, I am totally picturing just that. head out. <laughs> okay. Oh, hilarious. Let's have this conversation like oh, sometime right. this hour. <laughs> yes, this is this is happening. Oh boy. Um, all right. So I'm gonna say, um, so so about it yesterday. Um you don't uh, you don't need to tell me what what that was. I I, I don't need to know. Um, and it, if you don't want to talk about it, that's okay. But but when you get like that, is there something I can do? Maybe and it seems to be caught off guard because nobody's <laughs> ever asked that. <laughs> She's, she's she's never had anybody ask that. Like either she grew up with she grew up with the two people who it, like who would help her in the past. So like they already knew how to do that. But like she doesn't know how to respond when just being asked. Um, so she's gonna take a moment to like think. She's gonna kind of... of. She looks. They're kind of like touched, like. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, holy shit, somebody gives a fuck. Um, you know. And she's gonna kind of tilt her head back and forth while she thinks and just end up shrugging. Um, and she'll just kind of say, I mean, I'm not exactly all there. Uh, but you probably gathered that. Um, Seem a bit. A bit. But, I mean, it used to be when I got like that, um, and her shoulders will kind of hunch in. Like, she doesn't want to talk about this, but I mean, she will. Um, As she's been gigging, Aaron's been kind of just leaning in and <laughs> looking, he's like shaking a little. And at her, like, I'm down, he's just gonna jolt back a little. Like, oh, no, 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 I'm sorry, I am not intruding here. <laughs> um, she's not gonna meet his eyes or anything either. She's kind of just like staring off to the side, like probably at the wall or something. Uh, and she's gonna kind of, uh, I, when I have episodes, uh, it used to be that I would get kind of, Locked away? Uh, uh, no, li literally lo locked away. Um, uh, oh, I, I used oh, to be um, put in the storage closet. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. 
Um, but I suppose if you could just, I guess, make sure that I'm not going to wander off or get hurt by anything. Of course, yeah, I, I'm never going to let anything hurt you. If I can. And she's going to blush. <laughs> <laughs> Blush and kind of, achieved. And she's gonna look up at him in like shock. Uh, <laughs> like pretty much the only person who has said that to her is like mm, maybe like two people, maybe. Um I think Aaron like has been I think I mentioned he's just been kind of shaking nervously this entire time. And upon saying that, he goes rid- he goes like rigid, except for his fists, which continue shaking slightly. <laughs> oh my god, this poor man! Um... <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, <laughs> she's gonna kind of put her hands up and be like, "I don't, no, don't." My family, they mean well. I just, they're not exactly. Uh, the most uh, qualified <laughs> uh, or knowledgeable, oh. I suppose. Um, um. But it's um, I don't really want to talk too much about it at the yeah, moment. Yeah, no, yeah, you 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 don't have to. But um, I wanted to thank you for um trying to help me out of it. I usually, um, when I get like that, it just takes until I have a good long rest and then I'm relatively okay. And she'll kind of just give like a lopsided smile. like. <laughs> Aaron looks immensely relieved. <laughs> uh, oh, um... Well, yeah, I mean, (laughs) yeah, I don't know that he actually has anything to say. Oh, (laughs) and she's she's going to kind of clear her throat a little bit and uh, ask, uh, is is that all you wanted to talk about? Or, I mean, um, um, well, I, I guess that was, that was the most uh, a pressing thing. Um, <laughs> got well, it doesn't have to be urgent. There. <laughs> We're already here. You might as well just ask all your questions. Well, I mean, are you sure you'd want to answer them? She kind of shrugs and gives another wry smile and says, I don't have anything to hide. It's just certain things I don't like to talk about. Yeah, that that makes sense. Um, well... God damn it, is it going to be in time? Yeah, that's probably on his the next list of things. Great! <laughs> Fucking runes time. <laughs> let's, do it, let's do it! Let's do it! Let's All do right. it! <laughs> well, um, I couldn't couldn't help but notice um, that a bit ago you got. I don't. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. Something. Something. Glowing. Um. Uh, it. It might just just have been me, but it seemed important. Um. You, you, you know what I'm talking about. 
she's gonna nod and kind of like put her her hand to her forehead a little bit just kind of like kind of an unconscious movement of just like oh yeah that thing that's there um it's kind of nod and she's gonna kind of again think for a second she's gonna go she's gonna take a deep breath and she's gonna go i i'm not human <laughs> actually <laughs> oh <laughs> my parents are human, my entire family, save for my cousin is human, but I'm not. Um, oh, uh, actually, um, yeah, I'm, my family's, my family's human, but I'm, I'm not entirely human either. She's gonna nod and, and kind of smile, like, uh, and she looks a little relieved, like, okay, somebody who gets it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and she's gonna go, uh, I suppose. I mean, I guess the long and short of it is that um, I I feel like I'm going really <laughs> um my parents um kind of sort of had me in a sense um in a sort of magical landmark um, near the town I was born in and grew up in. But um, essentially, uh, I have a spirit that's, it's, it's, um, it's fused with my soul, essentially. Um, At spirit, and Aaron's eyes just it, go wide. <laughs> And it it's where my my magic comes from and it it, it produces the runes. Um oh. and I'm not possessed and it's not really a tragic story, though it's been the source yeah. of a lot of grief, but <laughs> I I trust you, I, I trust your judgment and if you're saying that, you know, good then then yeah, I I believe that. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna kind of smile uh, relieved again um like yeah i'm not dangerous or anything it's just a, a thing i'm <clears throat> at least uh not to group friends <laughs> oh no not at all <laughs> <laughs> and Rather, gonna, i'm like... very dangerous to anything who wants to hurt any of you at this point Aaron's going to try to pantomime a magic missile and in the absence of having any idea how to do that, I think he's just gonna like make a claw and kind of go whoosh. No performance whoosh. check. <laughs> oh hella. <laughs> just, just for flavor. Just for flavor. Uh, that is a auto and it's on, isn't it? Because it doesn't turn off. That is a four. Leave, you have no idea what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? She's gonna yeah, laugh he because just... he tried. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna laugh a little bit, not at him, but just just because it's kind of goofy. Um, and and she's she's just gonna nod along like she knows what he's talking about. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and um, she's gonna um, kind of say um. I hope you don't have any other questions. I'm not, um, I think I'm, I'm a little done with the, with the yeah. subject of my past for the day. Oh, uh, of course. I'm, I'm sorry if I've opened anything. Uh, she's, she's going <laughs> to stand up, um, and just kind of smile at him and, and go, no, no, you're, you're fine. I just, it's a lot for me to talk about. Um, that. Is there anything else I suppose that you wanted to tell me or, or talk about at all? Um, well, I guess. <sighs> well, there is, there is something, but, but it might it might extend too far into into asking asking a question a, a question territory. 
um, I, I don't know pry, but um, I just, I, I wanted to say that I, I understand <laughs> uh, having, having a, um, a around, uh, <laughs> I guess, I guess you could, you could call him that. Um, and, um, well, I guess I just wanted to say that mine, and I don't know if, if yours is like this, but mine, mine looks to me a lot and, um, uh, it helps me, I don't know, helps me figure out what, what it is I'm, I'm supposed to be doing, uh, what, you know, right. And, and just, and I mean, even like what my, my path is, what I'm, I'm supposed to do and what, what I'm supposed to accomplish. And he's been, you know, talking, you normally, you know, just like he has something to share and at specifically what I'm supposed to accomplish, he starts shaking pretty violently. Um, anyway, <laughs> I, I don't mean to, um, yeah, I just want to say that that's what what it's like for me. Um, yeah, <laughs> just just wanted to share that thought. Thought you might might get something out of it. And he's he's, he's retreating at this point. Oh, <laughs> is he still like on the floor? I yeah, I don't think he's gotten up and okay. in. So I think in my mind, he's just kind of pushing himself against the wall. She's going to kneel down again, but she's going to give him enough space and she's just going to kind of reach reach out to him and, and, and say gently, uh, Erin, Erin, Erin. Yeah, Le- Levy. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to talk about it. It seems to be really distressing you. Um... um. <laughs> I mean, you're, you're sharing. I, it, it only seems right that, that, that I, I, I do the always, same. You can always just do it in your own time. I don't mind. Um, get that. He's gonna <laughs> laugh awkwardly and yeah, probably start getting up. Um, and he's gonna like he's not full on hugging Levy I don't think but he's gonna like reach for Levy's shoulder Levy's shoulder and kind of like clasp his hands around them and just kind of like not like a shoulder squeeze but he's like hugging specifically her shoulder oh she's gonna go in for the hug <laughs> hell <laughs> <laughs> Aaron squeezes. Hell yeah, she's gonna she's gonna squeeze him back and <laughs> just kind of <laughs> pull back just a little bit, not not like break the hug up or anything, and smile up at him. And then uh, she's gonna actually, um... hmm. she's gonna ask if he's all right. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm. Yeah, I'm. <laughs> Sorry, I just saw that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um. Yeah. Um. Um. I, I, I'll, I'll be fine. Miles and says, <laughs> she's gonna try for a reassuring smile, and then uh, <laughs> she's actually going to uh, kind of on an impulse reach up on her tiptoes and just plant just like the smallest fucking smooch on his cheek, <laughs> and then she's going to hustle it back down the hall. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron. On your way back to where everyone else was, you see Lish like lurking in the hallway watching. No, <laughs> he's not lurking. 
god. He doesn't care enough to lurk. <laughs> Fair enough. When she gets to the room, her face is beat red. <laughs> <laughs> she is looking very curiously. <laughs> he kind okay. of raises his eyebrows, kind of like looking maybe for an explanation. <laughs> she's she's going to clear her throat pointedly and shake her head and just like, keep, <laughs> she's going to go and like start kind of... She's, gonna go, she's going to very pointedly pull her journal, her journal out and flip to a random page of notes <laughs> and start reading. She is Which is going so, to lean uh-uh. forward and kind of look at Aaron now and just be like... <laughs> On his own, just at the edge of the room, Aaron's just kind of standing there frozen for, for a few seconds. And uh-huh. then he reaches up and touches his cheek. And then he kind of glares uh, for a second and is like, that was good. <laughs> You're saying this back in the hallway where I'm you saying were? this, I'm not saying this loudly, but he is saying it out loud. In the doorway to the room in front of everybody. <laughs> Lish is gonna be like, Okay. I'm not talking to you. You don't need to be talking to me. He's putting together a, a puzzle, and I don't think all the pieces are from the one puzzle. <laughs> Different puzzles together. Uh, ooh, can I do an insight check? Yes, I would also like to do an insight check as to what the hell happened no in the hallway. Oh, no. no. This is oh, I don't think I got going it. To be bad. <laughs> That's a six. <laughs> Let's see. We roll. I am going to not use this. Stuff. That is a nice twelve on the die and a nineteen. Nineteen. So all oh, right. So damn near. Uh, you're pretty sure they just had seven minutes of heaven. Oh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lish, you can kind of gather that they had a an emotional chat. <laughs> in, in not all together, I like I didn't expect that, but okay. A not altogether unphysical emotional conversation. <laughs> Demir be like, damn, they just hooked up in the 30 seconds they were outside of this room. Damn, Aaron nice. didn't take as long as I thought. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Ooh. Ooh. In terms of time it took for this to happen, or in, t- in terms of time it took while this was happening? In terms of the Sims know. inadequate woohoo. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Uh, horrifying. <laughs> Mortifying. Mortifying. Uh, what kind of the morning is it now? It's um like ten ish. Ten thirty. Cool. Excuse me. More. So I think at this point we'll we'll say whatever people want to uh to accomplish during the day. Uh, do so now. Yeah, well. I have a thing. <laughs> so, <laughs> Lish, what are you doing today? I am going to the balcony of this room as I did the night before to kind of look out kind of over the area. And I'm going to summon or rather conjure eight giant owls right outside our <laughs> balcony window. Okay. Um, so you close your eyes, do the uh, the hand movements and all that fun stuff, cast a spell, um, and 
the owls just start swooping around <laughs> and a couple of the guards that are at the manor are like whoa what the fuck and start like kind of training their crossbows but they're not shooting it because their the animals aren't doing anything but <laughs> they're, uh, they're like they're, they're ready if any of these giant owls start trying to carry anyone off <laughs> <laughs> just you wait um <laughs> He's going to stroke the little head of the closest one next to him, and he's going to tell them to go um, go and search for horses and herd them back if they're loose in the wild. Not if they belong to somebody, but if they're just running wild to find them, herd them back towards the manor house. Okay. Um just looking up their uh, investigation okay yeah they uh, they seem to to understand and they they start to fly off unless you have any more orders for them no just find wild horses ones that don't belong to anybody it seems and herd them back okay um anyone else doing anything well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Um, if uh, there is a moment where people have kind of scattered to their own, uh, their own things, um, and it's not super conspicuous, Demir is going to um go over to Toby and just like. Do you have a minute? Ah, uh, well, she can definitely get Tobias um, alone because after everyone's done uh, with their food and stuff, he'll be taking the plates down to the kitchen. Um, so if she catches him either on the way there, or on the way back, uh, definitely not do anything. Uh, when um, Demir prompts him, though, uh, he'll say, uh, Yes, of course, I'm not doing anything. Excellent. Um, Demir is going to take Toby um, <laughs> by the arm and um, bring him into her room. Um, because it's the most unoccupied <laughs> and um, uh, lock the door behind them and oh, wow. turn to Toby and <laughs> uh, um, she's going to uh, take his hands um and uh lean up to him and kiss him <laughs> and just oh just uh, oh just boy a modest, like nothing no tongue it's just a kiss on the lips um and kind of pull back a little and just i wanted to thank you um you saved our lives in the uh, <laughs> in the carriage and so um, she's just going to kind of look at him expectantly uh, when they this is really hard because I can't see your face <laughs> Sorry. It's all good. Um, <laughs> when uh, they enter the room um, and she locks the door, uh, Tobias like, appears much more serious and stuff. Like, um, head kind of tilted, wondering, you know, if there's something wrong. And uh, when she takes his hand, he's like, 
okay like a little confused and then when she kisses him on the face uh or kisses him on the lips um his <laughs> face basically is like someone just deleted the windows operating system off their computer <laughs> he, it's just he's eyes are kind of wide mouth kind of open his brain is trying to process what happened and he's just like uh. <laughs> Samir actually <laughs> she looks a little concerned like she broke him like uh is, is that okay she doesn't know her true power <laughs> uh he starts uh kind of spluttering now like she can feel his hands the tremor in his hands starting to increase uh as he's like trying to piece words together starting to like sweat more <laughs> growing very like the worst kind of blush that she's seen on him so far uh <laughs> she's going to kind of re reach up and, and put a hand over her his mouth and just like you can just nod or shake your head <laughs> He just kind of slowly nods his head. <laughs> um, and Demir is going to step forward again, still holding his hand and kiss him more deliberately and slowly. And um, <laughs> just kind of laugh a little um, again against him just like <laughs> is this your first time I I I've never <laughs> <laughs> I can show it's, you it's you don't have to do all that to thank me. I want to. <laughs> and I don't have anything else to give <clears throat> but my words, my lips. He appears like a little hesitant, um, and it's more so like. It, it's clear that um, respecting her as a person and like he he's very flattered by the offer but he doesn't want to make it seem like he's taking advantage of her and eventually he just kind of like keeps having this inner debate um if you're worried eventually... about if you're worried about lish i can guarantee you he doesn't care i i can believe that yes kind of like looks away um <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, he kind of just uh, closes his eyes and um, opens them, appears more determined like he's come to a decision. Um, how tall is Demir again? He is 5'10". 5'10". Like a half oh. a head or so shorter than you. Okay. I was like getting the yeah. Height difference in she has brain. to stand on her tiptoes. 
uh, with that new look of determination, um, or at least like coming to a clear decision, uh, he will bend down and give Demir a kiss back. He's not the greatest. It's clear that he doesn't really know what he's doing, but he's, he's trying. <laughs> too much tongue, too much tongue. <laughs> no, he doesn't even know. He doesn't even do tongue at first. He's just like giving her a kiss. And it's like, that just sits like this short kind of swings. Doesn't really know what else to do. He's like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, she's going to be very patient and instructive <laughs> and, and um, pull him towards the bed and we can fade to black there if we want <laughs> That's her I would <laughs> rather say yeah. she pushes him towards the bed and he just falls back on it in this house Tony's yeah. a fucking submissive <laughs> she <laughs> yep. Fade to black. Y'all just in that tree. <laughs> Y'all just really showed up today with the expectation to make out with each other, huh? <laughs> Listen, you know, sometimes you just yep. don't let your dreams be dreams. <laughs> he <laughs> only start. gave Aaron a kiss on the cheek. Right now, if Aaron wants to do something about that, that's up to him. The day is young. <laughs> um. All right. Is uh, anyone else doing anything? <laughs> Is anyone else doing anyone else? Good question. <laughs> hey, Aaron, um, what are you doing with your afternoon? <laughs> Conjure animals is a concentration spell, but I only don't need my fault. <laughs> so, so Aaron, uh, who are you making out with then? Or Levy, I guess. You're muted. <laughs> Aww. I, I, I scroll down and see you talking furiously and you're muted. And I'm like, hmm. Lish sees, someone getting, Lish sees someone getting kissed and is immediately like, oh, yep, I need that. Look, we got to even the score. <laughs> <laughs> God. Anyway, um, I... I don't want to say that Aaron avoids Levy, but... But he avoids Levy. <laughs> but if someone else leaves the room, like, I'm going to go do this, Aaron is going to get up immediately and volunteer to go help them. I mean, Lish is probably just going to stay on the balcony, kind of keeping an eye on the little bird blips. <laughs> All right, um, Levy. Demir with the window open next door. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Um, my. Are you, are you in the library, Levy, doing more research, or are you trying to find someone to make out with? <laughs> well, I mean, she does want to have a conversation with Lish, but she doesn't want to interrupt his like task. I mean, he's just, he just needs to make sure that the eagles don't despawn. He can do whatever he wants as long as you don't plan on attacking him and trying to break his concentration. No. <laughs> or trying to make out with him. That's a different kind of attacking. <laughs> <laughs> what does the DM manual say about that? <laughs> Is that concentration breaking? Uh, depends. Uh, roll a grapple check. <laughs> <laughs> for the lip lock <laughs> Jesus <laughs> oh dear um no, he won't mind the company he probably okay. just drags a chair out onto the balcony from the room and just plops himself down yeah she's gonna go out there and um kind of like if he's concentrating she's gonna like put like a like lightly touch his arm to like try and get his attention without like startling him out of his spell or whatever. Oh yeah, no, he's he's not like far away or anything. It's just a concentration spell. <laughs> yeah. Can't do anything too too freaky, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> that was a choice of words. It was. And it was made consciously. Um, <laughs> when you say everything was unintentional. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, up until this point, fuck you. <laughs> oh my god, has the moment finally arrived? <laughs> Listen, I only have until noon. I'm just trying to make the most of the time. <laughs> Anyways. Um <laughs> fucking she's gonna she's gonna ask, um is it alright if I have a brief conversation with you? Go right ahead. She will. Um she's gonna kinda clear her throat and shuffle awkwardly and um she doesn't seem as hesitant uh, as she does when she talks about this with other people, but this is probably, I don't know if Lish would know that. Um, <laughs> uh, but she kind of rolls one of her shoulders a little bit and goes, um, I, you know that yesterday I wasn't quite in my right mind um but i do have a a little bit of a memory that i'm not entirely sure happened yesterday um did you carry me or she's gonna kind of flush again even though she's like she just got her fucking blood vessels in her face under control earlier <laughs> um <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. or um i guess give me any sort of affection or anything yesterday he kind of raises his brows and smiles oh my god very, don't kill her like this very oh coyly very sneakily <laughs> and kind of leans forward in his chair and says why would you like me to again <laughs> hang on oh wow Ethan, how? you're just like she's she's gonna kind of purse her lips and her eyes are gonna go a little wide for a second and she's gonna go Oh, uh, like <laughs> she's gonna she's gonna clear her throat again. Um, and she's gonna go. I, I mean, it was. I just wanted to thank you for helping me yesterday. <laughs> well, you wanted to see Toby, and so I brought you over to see Tobias. Was the forehead kiss necessary for that? Or was that just oh, you? Oh no, that was me thanking you for taking such good care of the pixies. <laughs> I think they more took care of me. They do a good job at that. They really do. I thank you for lending them to me, actually. Um, Does Levy you. still have like some of the braids in her hair? Um, she has Demir's like braid in her hair now um mm -hmm. trust me that's next on the list um <laughs> <laughs> um but she might have like a like a if there was like a small one towards the front it might be pulled back into the the previous braid because I, I i think she tried to preserve it but if demir took all of it out then that's demir's fault <laughs> speaking of which demir did did, Dem did, did, did you did you fucking take all of all of the pixies braids out? I mean, probably to brush out her hair okay. properly to rebraid it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And she's gonna she's at that she's gonna like kind of touch her hair, kind of where where one of the smaller ones was, and, and um, she's gonna go. I I'm sorry. I uh, I had to have their handiwork picked out. I was a bit of a mess. <laughs> one of the one of the pixies kind of comes forward in his hair to kind of like lean over and like look at Levy's hairdo and kind of chitter a little bit like our handiwork. Oh no! <laughs> she's gonna she's gonna say, "Oh, I'm I'm so sorry. Um, I didn't mean to." Lish kind of laughs and like pushes him back and 
just like, well, they'll have another opportunity, I'm sure. She kind of lights up at that one. It, it relaxes a little. Um, and then he's sitting down, right? Yeah. All right, cool. She's going to, I guess, lean down just a little bit because she's fucking tiny. Uh, and yeah. um, move in slowly so that he, he can like move away if he wants. But she's, gonna, she's also going to give him a little smooch on the cheek. Aww. Ooh, the temptation to move my head. <laughs> it's up to you. Um, no, I don't think he'll do that. All right. But he'll he'll reach out and he'll take her hand and just kind of hold it. She's gonna sigh heavily and just be like, "You always seem to be helping me when I." get into a bit of trouble with my own head. I wanted to thank you. Mm -hmm. And he just, uh, I don't know, kind of looks at her carefully, studying a little bit. And he asks her, do you want to sit with me for a while? Yeah, she'll 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 nod and, and smile a bit. She she's beat red again, but she's not running away like she did with poor fucking Erin. <laughs> <laughs> since, since he has like a like a physical hold on her and she's a little more I guess she they've had a, a few more moments, so she's less like, oh god, what did I do about it? Yeah, um, kind of, I guess, pull another chair out on the balcony and chill for a while. She's yeah. just going to kind of lean up against him. Just, <laughs> just hang out. We don't have to pull another chair out onto the balcony. He, can, <laughs> he offers her to sit on his lap. <laughs> sure, why not? He's already carried her around. She doesn't give a shit. She doesn't know what social cues are. She doesn't know what social social norms are. Cool. He'll like let her curl up and uh, just chill with him. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, I'm going to say that um, Hawk got lost in the maze and the bee <laughs> went out to go and find him and that's why they're dead absent. <laughs> uh, B, the only responsible person. <laughs> um, uh, so um, as uh, Lish and Levy sit together um, on the uh, the balcony there, um, the owls start to return after a, a bit. Um, a couple of them manage to, to get two horses back each. Uh, there's uh, most of them manage to uh, only get one. There is a one owl, however, that kind of just swoops by and drops a frog, <laughs> a like frog? on the balcony that you guys are on. Um, and uh, so, I'm gonna make that one go away. <laughs> <laughs> that is not what I asked you to do. <laughs> she did her best. She rolled a natural two. Oh, poor thing. <laughs> Um, and Levy hold the frog. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Uh, thank you. Roll, roll dexterity to see if you can catch it. Oh, Falls fuck yes. out of Wish's lap roll after to hold a frog. frog. Oh hell yes! Hang on, I'm about to give me a frog. That's a fucking dirty twenty. Um, congrats, you have a frog now. <laughs> Yay! She is very excitedly showing it to Lish. Like, look, I <laughs> caught it. <laughs> Like, you should probably put that out in the garden. I don't... <laughs> She's like, I will in a moment. I just... She's like petting it. <laughs> uh, He's 
just the like frog, mm. the frog is slimy. Um, <laughs> can you, Fuck yes. Roll an animal handling check. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, that's a seven. It doesn't like you. <laughs> it, wants, oh. it wants to leave. It keeps trying to escape and not enjoying the pets. Okay, she'll, it, she'll, she'll let it go. Okay. <laughs> if it wants to leave. She just wanted to catch it and, like, coo over it a little bit. You, you know that thing that cats do when you you pet them and they're like, hey, I hate this, and then they go two steps away when you let them go? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, Lish will bring at least one of the giant owls over to, for Levy to take a look at before he has to dismiss them. All right. Fuck yeah, she pets um, it. <laughs> meanwhile, the... Uh, the horses have been kind of herded onto the lawn and they, some of them are kind of spooked because they were just chased over here by giant owls <laughs> but the guards can kind of see now like hey wait a minute I know that horse fuck oh, I have to go and catch it now so the, the, it's kind of amusing to watch the all the guards kind of trying to round up the horses and she needs TV catch them uh, and uh, one of the owls not the one that gave Levy the frog uh, kind of swoops down and lands on the uh, on the balcony as requested and this one is a uh, brown owl sort of um, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this one is a a uh, barred owl, um, and kind of just looks at you. Little scritches for the owl. Yeah, it did a good job. Leafy, there's this owl here, and they and. Uh, and Lish is kind of petting the owl, giving scratches, and the owl is go kind of showing that that he likes it. Levy is fucking delighted. Um, <laughs> she's like <laughs> cooing at it in in quarry, actually, like "Oh, aren't you pretty?" sort of thing. Yeah, you can you can give the owl some scratches too if you like. Yeah. She's, she's like loving on that owl. Yeah, it's very soft. <laughs> it reminds you of Toby. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> the owl's a lot more bony, though. <laughs> well, I mean, not right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, right now. Exactly right now. <laughs> Bonier than usual, I would say right now. <laughs> <laughs> I see you making those facial expressions over there, Mackenzie. <laughs> um, yeah, unless anyone else has I cannot any see these facial There's some eyebrows happening. <laughs> 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 so, yikes <laughs> yeah eventually the, the guards get the horses rounded up um, move to the stables uh, yeah uh, is there anything else anyone wants to accomplish for the day or shall we move on to, uh, to getting ready to leave I think when Levy says that she wants to talk to Lish because Aaron isn't Lish and respects people's privacy, Aaron's just gonna yeet out of the room. Um, and I don't think he went with B, so with no other real course of action, he's probably gonna head back over to the gym okay. and continue tossing spears as he's tossing them. Uh, with each spear, he's like, stupid, 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 shut up, stupid, stupid. And yeah. that's how he spends his afternoon. So I'll tell you what, for the sake of this, um, just roll one attack roll for, for all the spears, just the overall how well you do. 
All right. Uh, that's gonna be. Stop eating my laptop cord. Hey, no. Ooh, that is a 17. You're doing pretty well with throwing the spears. Hell yeah. <laughs> Stop eating my laptop cord. Um, but, but yeah, you're, uh, you're doing pretty well overall. I mean, you, you miss a few, of course, but like, that's how it goes. But, yeah. Who but overall, like, you know, you know, your way around, uh, a spear. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. That's what she said. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I figure it's the theme for this session. <laughs> And all of the rest of the sessions. <laughs> <laughs> no plot, only romance. <laughs> Unfortunately, the whole like, me, it's been. We have become a dating sim. <laughs> Just only all of the phallic imagery. <laughs> yep. Dicks, dicks for miles, dicks everywhere. <laughs> the the gay thoughts uh, vine. <laughs> um anyway i'm trying trying to get through stuff so that uh felix can can hear as much as possible before they have to to eat um <laughs> should we get on our way i don't yeah. i kind of want to see the aftermath of <laughs> everything <laughs> and escapade what that fallout looks like <laughs> I mean, I yeah. Need to would, know how would you guys care to, to describe? Over the next. <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> Samir is um, instructive, <laughs> I guess you could say. Um, and uh, I mean, afterwards is uh, actually, it's kind of weird, Tobias. Um, cause like as much as Demir is like, um, kind of a little distant and closed off um, in the kind of like aftermath, uh, afterglow, whatever you want to call it, post, post sex health, <laughs> um, she's a lot more, like, it's like you aren't left questioning what's going on as much um and she you know she's got her head on your shoulder and all that sort of stuff and like looks up at it looks up at toby like good uh He's a, a mixture of um, I want to say coming down off of uh, I don't want to say like in awe, but uh, <laughs> trying to find the right words to describe it. Shit. It's a hard... bit nervous of you know like never done something like that before uh hoping he he did all right um but also uh feeling the euphoria of like experiencing something like that for the first time um and so like all he can give in response is like a, a very small like good yeah <laughs> Still getting his voice and bearings um, back. Samir's going to like. <laughs> Samir's going to um, take his hand and kind of kiss his knuckles, um, very sweetly. You're very funny. I like you. You're very strong. I admire you. We should probably get up. 
before everyone comes. Frantically searching for us. You saw how panicked Aaron got. Um, that would be bad, yes. Uh, essentially, uh, while they get up, get ready, and stuff like that, uh, Tobias is a gentleman. He <laughs> helps her clean up and stuff. Sister assists her with getting dressed, so desires and things. Nice and orderly gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> um, Samir doesn't comment about it or anything like that. Um, <clears throat> she just kind of, kind of lets him, uh, lets him help her essentially. Um, and uh, once she is all dressed up and letting him get dressed and all that stuff um she doesn't particularly offer to help because i assume that it's a little easier for him to get dressed than it is for her um uh she's going to like kind of go through her uh bag and um take out a little pa pouch of herbs and kind of take care of herself essentially <laughs> Yep. Uh, um. She can. Wait. Oh, go ahead. No, I'm sorry. I'm messing with my iPad. Wow. I just wanted to make sure I didn't lose y'all. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Despite not having any experience, Tobias is not an idiot. What? Wow. <laughs> wow that's a good he one. he is knowledgeable <laughs> in uh those sorts of things um right a like what that in stuff day. Is. <laughs> yeah <laughs> roll a performance a check <laughs> <laughs> but um I guess like after he's uh or after they're both done um he'll uh indicate to the door uh would you like to go first or I <laughs> um you can go, it's my room, so I'll... That makes sense. Okay. I, <laughs> you can tell he's gonna get in the fluster, he's like, shit. Fucking walk of that shame. That just happened. <laughs> uh, it's like, well, um... Th thank you for... for that, I... Uh, <laughs> it was very enjoyable and uh I'll leave. <laughs> it's like he just kinda like tries to say you know what he wants to say and it's just like Fuck <laughs> I gotta go. I gotta get out of here before I just keep digging my whole, my own prey further. It's like okay bye. <laughs> <laughs> just like slips out the door, and then uh, he's probably you know, so amused. <laughs> he's probably gonna wander uh, around the house slash just like uh, go stand outside to the pasture and stuff. Just like cool down, calm down. You see a bunch of guards <laughs> trying to convince some horses that were enjoying their freedom to go back into the stables. Oh, <laughs> um, no. 
There's also uh, an owl that has landed on one of the balconies up on the house. Oh, shit. I forgot. Ooh. A giant owl. It's huge. Um, it's probably as big as the horses. What were you going to say, Avery? Um, before Tobias had Felix. left, I, I had meant to say something and I forgot because I don't know uh, my note. No, that's fine. Sure, we can we can write calm real <laughs> quick. Go for it. <laughs> so, uh, be before Mir was going to um, like kind of running her hands along or her finger along the scar on his shoulder, um, I was going to ask you, do we? Are we going to be? Uh, could you repeat that? You cut out. Oh, sorry. Um, are we are we going to see that again? Your wings. He kind of sobers up a little at that. Um, <laughs> a very more contemplative. I because of it transforming like that is hard, but I was able to help all of you. And part of me feels that the longer this journey goes on, the more dangerous encounters we will have. I'm going to try. I'm going to try and push myself and show you my wings again. I would like to see Do we have to keep an eye in the moonlight or anything like that? No, no, I, my mentor, he, he showed me how to control it. I I can I'm good at keeping it locked up. It's just in the normal circumstances I don't know if I ever would have even showed you all to begin with, but I believe with what happened with Tasha I just reached my limit. He lifts one of his hands and holds it out to her to show her. Um, and she'll notice like after, like in a more, um, when he's not flustered or nervous or uh, angry, stuff, whatever, like there is still like a slight tremor to his hands, but it's like more of like a natural tremor, but it is nowhere near as bad as she has seen it prior to before he transformed. I think normally I can feel it under my skin. That's a lot quieter now. I almost wonder if even if it was still painful, that transforming was good for me. I don't know anything about it. But, wow. 
I thought it was impressive. He uh, gives a small smile for that and kind of ducks his head. Thank you. A uh, question that I have is, uh, oh, unless you, you were going to say something. Oh, no, no. Uh, the thing that I was going to add, because it just dawned on me, was um, this would be the first instance that Demir would have seen the bite mark on his shoulder and the scars on his back. Yes. Yeah. Like, he definitely would have had hesitation and before undressing, would... and... Upon revealing it, or, like, removing the shirt and stuff and seeing it for the first time. Yeah. And, um, she kind of ran her fingers across them a little bit. Like, she can... A little, like, um what you call it like she was interested in them and so like especially like after words she was kind of tracing her fingers around the bite mark um on his shoulder where she was like she had her head on it or on his other shoulder and was tracing her fingers across the bite mark on his opposite shoulder if that makes sense yeah uh, yeah. She'll notice that, like, when she just feels around the, the bite mark on her shoulder and stuff and just kind of, like, treats it, you know, as whatever, he'll relax. Although, if she does, ha like, run her fingers over the scars on his back specifically, she'll, she'll notice that uh, the noticeable dip in the flesh where um, there's a chunk missing, but then also his body gives a shudder from sensitivity. Mm. She uses that. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh boy. As long as it's not like painful. Uh... <laughs> um... <clears throat> but... <laughs> kind of like wings <laughs> yeah men with wings <laughs> um <laughs> she doesn't say that out loud she just kind of thinks about it. yeah <laughs> um yeah but that that was all i wanted to to say unless you had more to say <laughs> no, we can. I'm good. <laughs> Go back to the present. Sorry about that. <laughs> so, uh, Tobias, you're you're cooling down on the lawn. Are you assisting in the horse wrangling, or are you just watching? Looking at all of the owls. <laughs> uh, yeah, mm -hmm. there there are a few owls, kind of just still swooping around overhead, but they're not not doing much at the moment. Can I see Tobias from the balcony? All perception. That's a 13. You can see a lone figure walking across the, the lawn. Um, it doesn't matter too much to you. You're working on uh, romancing Levy via owl petting. <laughs> Can I roll perception? Yeah, go for it. Fuck yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's going to be a Seven. Seven. There is an owl right here, and you're petting it, and it's soft, <laughs> and its feathers are really great for stimming. <laughs> She's on it. She's like, hell yes. <laughs> hell yes. 
I bring all the a... other birds around, so we're surrounded by eight owls. <laughs> okay, including the one you banished because you brought you a frog. I can I banish one at a time? I think I have to kind of keep them all <laughs> around at the same time. I think you can, but like I have what. All seven. You can always tell one with the frog to just go away. Just go sit in the corner. <laughs> go take if, the frog back. <laughs> if the one that brought the frog is still around, she's gonna like give it some special attention and 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 say pointedly in Elvish because she know. Uh, I'm pretty sure she knows that Lish can understand that. She's just gonna be like, "Oh, you did your best. It's okay. I like the frog." <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. When you when you scratch her, she she's enjoying it and she uh, seems to be understanding your words. I believe. Yes, uh, she understands your words, um, and she, she's cooing at you, and it's it's a good time. <laughs> <laughs> Lish seems both charmed by how cute you are with the bird, and also don't encourage her. <laughs> She'll continue acting out. <laughs> um, Does he say that? No, just like don't like, don't, don't encourage her. <laughs> It's more uh, of a yeah. look that you're giving her. Eyes, so <laughs> it's just like, Levy is pointedly ignoring that look. She loves this. <laughs> she's having the best time. He thinks it's cute. <laughs> um. So, uh, we'll say that uh, you guys spend your your days doing whatever, throwing jav- javelins, watching horse roundups. Uh. Toby's probably more fascinated house. with the giant owls than the horse around it. Fair enough. Get getting lost in a maze. Oh hi, there's a cat on the table now. <laughs> um, uh, are you gonna Tobias, are you gonna come over to underneath the balcony and see what you can of the giant owls? Boop. He he might, although if there's some that are just like flying around and stuff, uh, he might just observe them. I mean, they, they're birds. They will take up, uh, take off every now and then. Then if uh, Lish calls them back, they'll, they'll go back to the balcony, hang out for a little while, get more scritches, beg for mice, you know, owl things. <laughs> Just owl things. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Um, but eventually, um, once the horses are rounded up, the, the lawn is quiet for a while. Um, how long does uh, does the spell last, by the way, Lish? Not very long. Okay. But I can cast it twice All right. if I need to. Well, if you ended up having to resummon them, that's fine too, because, you know. I think it lasts an hour, so right. just for an hour. Um, but, but yeah. Uh, eventually, uh, Lord Thanen starts preparations for, uh, for gathering, um, carriage and, and the other things that are necessary for travel, um, uh, there, it looks like there are a couple guards that will be accompanying the, the group. Are in, would you guys prefer to travel in a carriage or a cart? Oh, I'm taking a carriage. Cart. <laughs> Weeby's <laughs> just happy to be here. She doesn't care. Okay. So, um... There are two carriages and a cart that is prepared. The carriage for uh, Lord Thane and himself is much fancier than the other one. You, you get kind of get the impression that the second carriage is more of a spare. Um, and then there's also a cart, which is big enough to, to house everyone. Um, uh, and... There's a little, there's some rations that are traveled, uh, are packed for traveling. Um, and then there's uh, the horses that are, that are all set up. Um, and 
uh, Lord Fainan's kind of just given uh, orders to a few people on on his way out. Um, anything you guys wished to accomplish before leaving? Um, I will say one thing when the owls go away and everybody separates to like get ready to leave, uh, Levy is going to plant another little little smooch on Lucia's face. Yeah. Um, the smoochening. She's she's there now. Yeah. yeah I think that's where the whole party is, frankly. <laughs> um, but uh, I would like to note that uh, when I was calculating the distance from travel time last time you were making this trek in the opposite direction, I had accidentally calculated on horseback rather than on foot Ooh. <laughs> but Oops. so you, it'll be a three-day trip for you guys this time <laughs> that was my bad I apologize. It's, sh- it's shorter coming than it is go- going back um, you know some places are just like that it'd be like that it's okay. liminal farm space it was, it was downhill getting there and now it's uphill coming back obviously exactly <laughs> Um, but yeah, uh, that evening you guys get on the road. Is anyone keeping an eye out or y'all just chilling? I'm going to ride. I will keep an eye out. Okay. I'm riding in the front with the guy driving the horses on the carriage. I'm not in the carriage. Am I the only person in the carriage? <laughs> He, he might pop in every once in a while. I get the feeling that he's like, he's up in the front, he's in the carriage, he's on the side as a wolf. He's like constantly kind of bouncing around different areas. If, I, if I'm the only person in the carriage, then the mirror is actually going to go onto the cart. Like, <laughs> but it's one of those things that's like, why, are, why is nobody going in this nice Maybe carriage? <laughs> Well, Tobias is in the in cart watching behind. Cart, but okay. Phoebe's in the cart because she's always wanted to go in the cart. <laughs> but she wasn't allowed to as a child. If Demir's <laughs> alone, then I think he'll spend more time in the carriage with her. Okay. B also, I feel like, might want to ride in the carriage just yeah. because it's fancy. How about B is in the carriage with uh, Demir doing more sign language lessons? Yeah. Yes! yes! So, Demir, roll an intelligence check. Oh no, I don't know which dice to choose. They've all betrayed me. Um. Oh, oh, that's not bad, that's not bad. That is a, um, uh, 18. You're picking up more this time. You're uh, you're getting getting more information. You can now say hi. I'm Demir in, mm-hmm. in sign language, which is something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, um, good. Since I have to go um, <laughs> here in like literally like two minutes, I think um, Levy's just gonna uh. If uh, there's enough space, she's just gonna kind of sandwich herself between whoever else is in the cart, like um, like Tobias and Erin, and she's gonna take a nap. Okay. <laughs> Pass out for the rest of the journey. Yeah. She's tired the after having the, a breakdown for like a whole journey. day. <laughs> um, okay. So uh, eventually, um, first night of uh, travel comes to a close uh, when Lord Fainan decides that he's ready for sleep. Um, (laughs) He sleeps in his cart. Are the rest of you in a snuggle pile? (laughs) Snuggle pile, snuggle pile, snuggle pile. Tobias won't say no. We also won't say no. She's gonna like since she slept uh, on the journey, she'll take a watch. Okay. Yes means but yes. But she will be Aaron in is enthusiastic. <laughs> All right. So there's Tobias the will take a watch as well. Yeah, and I'll take a watch. Okay. Um, 
So Levy, uh, roll perception check for me real quick. Bitches. On your way out. Oh, 19. 19? Nice. Um, the night is passing rather uneventfully. Um, Tobias, you are next up. We'll roll perception check. All right, I'm heading out. Bye, y'all. Bye. Thanks for coming. It's great having you. So long. Farewell. Love you. It's been... it's been... Ooh, yikes. That's an eight. You hear a rustling in the bushes, but decide that it's probably nothing. Is it Lish? Because I'm a wolf and I'm out in the woods. <laughs> I'll get to you in a moment. <laughs> Uh, Erin. All right. Yep. That is a... That's a 10. Um... Yeah, I mean, it's nighttime. You don't know, you don't know what else to say beyond that. It's... So... Uh, Lish, what are you doing? Are you walking around in, in groves? Are you trying to hunt anything? Or are you just are you yeah. existing as a puppy? I mean, yes, that. But also, he's getting himself something to eat if he can. Okay. Um, let's say a roll investigation check using the modifier for for wolf. Well, I guess since it's, it's druid shape, that doesn't matter. Yeah, roll investigation. That is a 19. 19? Um, are you looking for, like, a, a big snack, or are you looking for, like, popcorn squirrels? Or... <laughs> um, squirrels. I mean, I guess it depends on what's out here. I assume it's still like all farmland stuff. Mostly so farmland. Big stuff. So like rabbits, I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah, you're able to find the kind of trail of a uh, of rabbit. What looks like a hare, maybe. Cool. I'm gonna gonna hunt it. I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, your uh, roll stealth check. Mm -mm, that's a 12. Okay. Um, yeah, no, this, this rabbit is, is busy, kind of. Eating seeds. Eating seeds, hopping around, scratching its ear. <laughs> um. <laughs> It's a stupid rabbit. <laughs> um, what a lot of big predators out here, I imagine. All right. Uh, roll, roll attack. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, oh, God, I got to pull the wolf. Uh, uh, I guess I'll just do a bite attack. <laughs> Does this... Okay. Does a does an eleven hit? Eleven. It's his armor class. So, so I yeah. do. Beats it beats. Chomp. Uh, you roll damage. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> we're doing this. We're doing this right. Oh my god. Do I have to do this for every rabbit I find tonight? <laughs> uh, this is just the first one. Two d six plus three. Um, that's eight to chomp. <laughs> you practically swallow it whole. <laughs> Good. <laughs> the Oregon Trail simulation. <laughs> this is a kind of high, quali high quality, high fantasy. That, uh, <laughs> I'm really, I feel up. like I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, there you go. And, um, you find maybe two or three other rabbits in the evening. Um, 
do you just eat them out in the grove or do you take them back to to eat camp them and in front of everybody eat no, them in front of whoever is taking watch <laughs> No, no, that'd be pretty funny though. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll, I eat them out in the woods and I come back to blood. Okay. <laughs> um, next day. Uh, Actually, anyone? can I get one more thing done in the night? Sure. Um, so unfortunately, both Levy and B are out right now, and they're the two people who own paper, but. Aaron's going to get some paper from somewhere. Okay. Um, and Aaron is going to spend the night writing down a list of names. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Are you Stark <laughs> Hoops? <laughs> All right. Are you um, going to be carving them onto your blade soon? <laughs> when, when I, Y'all will see. When I come back to the cart, do I see you again? Or are you like up the entire evening doing this? Uh, I... Aaron is third watch, so mm-hmm. he's uh, he's closer towards the morning. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, but you're <sighs> you're up late, or you're waking up in the middle of the Just... night to do this. Just during uh, my own watch. Okay. That's, that's what I spend it doing. Well, you probably start doing that by the time that I get back. <laughs> yeah, okay. That sounds reasonable. And I kind of, as a wolf, walk over to the cart, kind of stick my big head in. Your big bloody head. <laughs> my big rabbit mauled head. <laughs> I think at this point. Sniff around in there and kind of look at what you're up to. I think with the amount of use to Lish Aaron is right now, I'm just kind of going to kind of fold the thing I am doing over so that you can't see <sighs> what it is I'm writing and say, hi, Lish. Kind of. <laughs> you goes. <laughs> <laughs> like in your face. <laughs> Someday you're going to be attacked by wolves and just assume that it's Lish. And <laughs> get, get, get. <laughs> I mean. Potentially. <laughs> and I'm just gonna back into a man and kind of go, what are you working on? Just trying to get my, my memories in order. Trying to make sure that I remember important stuff. Oh. I guess you could call it a journal. Very late night angry secret journal (laughs) well this is when i happened to be awake i don't know that that's audible (laughs) (laughs) he just kind of hums goes around the cart and goes to the carriage where demir is to settle down for the night I didn't realize it was your diary. Her, like, her, her... <laughs> uh, so we are kind of like in her sleep, nestles closer to Lish, um, kind of squished have... into the corner of the carriage. So <laughs> more sleep cuddlers. Just cuddle up. <laughs> All right. Um, the the next day, uh, guards begin their preparation to, to keep on moving. Um, same cart and uh, carriage arrangements as the day previous. Think so. I would say yes. All right. Uh, anyone yeah. keeping? A lookout. Tobias yeah. will continue to do so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, roll perception. I'm also scoping things out. Yeah. All right. One of the times 
<laughs> Unless she's a wolf, Demir is going to be like, can I join you? <laughs> Getting a little restless in the car. Join, join me how? Hang in this nobleman's carriage. <laughs> you were going to go wandering off, right? Oh, I'll stay close. Okay. You want to well, come with me? I'll walk with you. Hmm. He looks really excited. Kind of perks up. Kind of like noses you in the belly. Like, come on. <laughs> Demir is going to look a little like embarrassed that she had to admit it, but then like goes along with him anyway. <laughs> uh, Tobias rolled a uh, 20. It's not a nat 20. It's a 19 plus 1. All right. Um, I also roll. Yeah, go for it. Okay. That is a 17. Okay. Um, so, Leash, you kind of get the vibes that you guys are being followed. Uh, mm-hmm. Tobias, however, you every now and then see something kind of dart between bushes on on the road in addition to this feeling. Uh, when he sees something dart, um, he's going to... Because I imagine... So the people next to him right now are Levy and Aaron... Hawk's probably also in the cart. Mm-hmm. Uh, is Leave? Uh, Leave is not here to respond. Um, Tobias is just going to keep a neutral face, but then just casually say to the people in the cart, "I think we're being followed." Oh, that's not good. Um, any idea by what? No, but I can see something moving. Did we go investigate it? My concern is that if that's what they want us to do. It could very well be a trap, that's true. Could, uh, are Lish and Demir staying relatively near the, uh, carts and carriage? Unless Demir's getting on his back, he'll probably stay on the road. When Demir's not with him, though, he's been kind of going around into the bushes and whatnot. I mean, if he lets her get on her, on, if he lets her get on his back, she will. Does she ask him? No, she just kind of is <laughs> walking with her hand on his back. And if he kind of like, if he, if he, that's her. She'll swing a leg around him and and get on his back. But you know, it's one of those like she doesn't want to ask. <laughs> she probably, just wants permission. <laughs> he's probably not going to offer, but he wouldn't stop her if she asked. So, or probably yeah, she'd probably get on his back. Huh? I mean, like if he doesn't stop her, she'll probably get on eventually. Okay. After a yeah. little bit of walking. I'm staying close to the road out. then with Demir. I'm not going okay. too far, but I'm kind of, you know, wandering off and on the road a little bit. Uh, Device is going to get Lish's attention then. Going to whistle at me, boy? Uh, <laughs> is 
that a loaded question? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I guess Tobias will whistle. We'll come over. It's just a short sound to get him to turn. Uh-huh. Uh, and when he does, uh, Tobias will just, like, do a short beckon with his hand. Yeah, I'll come up alongside the cart. Demir's like at eye level with you. <laughs> <laughs> There's something following us. I can see it moving in the undergrowth. Where? Where? Uh, yeah, like the <laughs> stuff that was moving in the undergrowth was uh, behind the carriage, or was it along the side? It's in the back i'd say maybe uh 20 30 feet away okay behind us 20 30 feet back do i notice anything now that tobias has pointed it out to me yes you do can i look as well sure um uh, should i Roll, roll perception or... to to see if uh, you can see a little bit better than they can. That's, that's a nine. <laughs> you see rustling in the bushes, but it might just be birds. You don't really get the same we're being followed by the, to me. The this does not feel like a squirrel. Can I go this take thing a has been watching us. Should I go take a look? If you don't mind. I kind of bumped Demir to tell Tobias. <laughs> Uh, Tobias will offer oh, Demir a hand uh, to help her <laughs> step into the cart. Yeah. Oh, wow. Demir translated for Lish because he's a wolf. <laughs> um, uh, should Lish go take, take a look? If he doesn't mind, that might be best. His form would give him an advantage. I am going to... At this point, the guards uh, that are sticking pretty close close to Lord Thanon's uh, uh, carriage, they've kind of noticed that there's some weirdness happening with you guys, and one of them uh, calls out, uh, is, is that a problem? I... We think they're might be someone following us. Uh, one of the, the guards kind of waves for the the carriage driver to to stop. The other like starts to climb up towards uh, the carriage to alert Lord Thanon of what's happening. Uh, and the other two kind of draw their swords to to get ready. I'm falling back as the carriage plods forward a little bit more. Okay. And I'm gonna just kind of see if I can get a closer look at what's going on. Aaron okay. is going to pull out of his spear and in all honesty, he looks kind of excited that he might get a chance to use it. <laughs> I've been practicing the spears uh, the past couple of days. When <laughs> Tobias sees uh, Aaron pull out his spear, he is going to put an arm on, uh, or not an arm, uh, put a hand on his shoulder, um, giving like a slight pressure, you know, pulling back. It's like, hold a moment. And visibly relaxes at that. Okay. Don't um, throw things at things. At what you can't see. <laughs> so, Lish, as you approach, you kind of get a little glimmer of something 
in in the bush. It's yellow and shiny, and as you get even uh, in uh, as you approach, whatever the thing is, it has stopped moving and it's frozen. Um, get even closer. Oh my god! And you look. Hey, wait a minute. That's a goblin. <laughs> <laughs> the goblin! Just, is there just one of them, or are there there's more just, that I can see? There's just one. Um, she's, uh, it's a, it's a female goblin. Uh, she's got the, the green skin, of course, and the, the big ears. Um, fairly young, not, not like a baby goblin, but like a youth. A, a youth, yeah. Um, she's wearing kind of uh, uh, sort of like black scrap of robe. It, honest, and upon closer inspection, it looks like she found a human's shirt or tunic. It's like, yeah, this is my dress now. I'm feeling pretty snazzy in it because like she's wearing the oversized shirt and she's kind of tied it around her waist and she's got little boots on and um she's she's just doing her thing and she's just kind of like looking at you with these big eyes and uh she's kind of like she's got two braids and she's kind of tugging at them while she's like looking at this giant ass wolf approaching <laughs> <laughs> lish kind of like hunches himself kind of making himself look a little smaller as he approaches definitely not aggressively sniffing curious is she kind of like well i'll tell you what roll a persuasion check <laughs> for the purposes of this not bad not bad that's a 21 15 on the die okay she it looks kind of taken aback and surprised and then trying to it kind of tries to start sniffing you back <laughs> <laughs> from where she is still in the bush <laughs> i kind of go up and like nose at her give her a sniff i'm gonna look around and see if there's any other goblins around uh roll perception check uh, 16. No other goblins. It's just her. Um, uh, and, and when, now that you're closer, you can see she's got like what appears to be a goblin equivalent of a scimitar at her side and a little backpack like she's going hiking. <laughs> <laughs> I am going, I mean, Demir's still on my back, isn't she? Um. <laughs> Demir climbed onto the cart. I okay, did you? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm going to shift back into a man and I'm going to speak in goblin to the little girl and say, are you alone? Where's your family? Uh, she responds in, in goblin. Oh, I, I left home. Were and you apart? Looking at her, she you get the kind kind of impression that she's like a goblin teenager. <laughs> <laughs> Were you a part of the circus back there? Was that your clan involved in that? I I don't know any circus. Hmm. Why are you following us? Well, I was. <laughs> kind of hoping that you had some extra food. Mm. My name's Peek, by the way. Peek? Peek. I'm Lish, and I kind of hold my hand out to her to shake. She shakes her hand, and she's got, like, the, the long goblin fingers and, and kind of sharp nails, but, you know. <laughs> I kind of seem to make a face like, do you mind? And I kind of take her hand and kind of pull her towards the cart. Like, um, you go see if we have any food. Oh, okay. Uh, I, 
I don't like those, though. And she's kind of pointing at the guards with their swords out. <laughs> they won't hurt you. Are you sure? I will hurt them if they try. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll take her back to the cart. <laughs> All right. Uh, everyone else, you see Lish... Uh, from your perspective, Lish as a wolf kind of like getting low and starting to go towards this bush uh, and then turn into a man and start talking in this weird kind of chittering language to the bush and then he reaches into the bush and pulls out a goblin and he's walking, <laughs> walking with her uh, back to everyone else. The, the guards look very suspicious. Quinn's gonna call out Friend? Hungry friend. She ah. she speaks in common and says, um, well, I don't think you can really be friends unless you know someone, but are you friendly? We're friendly. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Aaron. My my name is Peek. Hi, Peek. I'm going to start to reach out like I'm going to go hand with the hand containing a spear and then just. <laughs> <laughs> when Tobias sees Aaron start to reach the hand with the spear, he's like, no, and oh. uh, snaps the hand down. <laughs> <laughs> she, oh, drop it. She recoils uh, when when she sees the spear. Um and Lish Lish will like glare at you and like bare his teeth a little bit if you stick that spear out towards him. Aaron's gonna look down and wave the other hand. Tobias hops off the cart and um approaches and kneels down uh in front of Peak. Um, Samir is is following Tobias as well. I, uh, I can I can trade. For food i big people like like shinies right i'm oh, sorry about our companion over there it's it's fine here and he um he's gonna give her some of his rations that he has what she kind of she kind of like takes the rations kind of greedily um <laughs> Starts chewing on a piece of jerky and kind of like reaches back with her other hand to tuck the rest into her bag. Um, and she kind of thinks for a minute. And then takes off her bag and starts rifling through it. Seems to find what she's looking for. And then she is reaching out to hand you something. Tobias, do you take it? What's this? Um, he'll... Uh... When she uh, passes it to him and stuff, like he'll take it and look at it. Uh... It's a button. It's, it's yes. Kind of a, it's kind of a shiny button. Tobias she... will appear very amused by it. He's like, "Why, oh, thank you." I mean, I I don't have much, but hopefully that's enough. <laughs> I do really looks quite okay. delighted. It's a very nice button. She doesn't really know the difference between coinage and other shiny things. She's just mm -hmm. kind of given whatever. <laughs> oh. um, and for the record, adulthood for goblins is um, is age eight. Lish, if looking at her, you would probably guess she's like seven. So, nearing adulthood. <laughs> where are you? Yeah, where where are you headed, little one? Literally the I'm words out of my mouth, Avery. <laughs> I'm not little. <laughs> little to us? <laughs> well, you look big to me. Are you headed this way, or are you departing? I, I don't know. I was just hoping that you'd have food. 
Well, I, I found these and she she still has her bag in front of her from when she was giving uh, Tobias the button. Um, and she pulls out a deck of tarot cards uh, and says, I found these and, and I'm going to learn how to use them. And then maybe I'll get more shanks. That is a very good plan. Do you know how to use them? Not yet. (laughs) But I can do this. And she shuffles the cards. (laughs) (laughs) Very good. (laughs) Do you want to ride with us for a little? Uh, The guards kind of set forward at this point and say, um, I, uh, I don't think that's a very good idea. What are you afraid of her? And at that point, when you say that, Lish, uh, at the same time, she flips them off. Afraid <laughs> 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 of one goblin girl. That really is quite something. I think at that, Aaron has the confidence to actually say something. <laughs> um, he's been pretty embarrassed up to this point. And he's going to say, Sticking his I think we're in a baby's face. <laughs> he's going to say, I think what really matters is if she thinks it's a good idea. Well, where are you guys going? Big city, big forest, big lake. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't like cities. People are weird there. Oh, the, I noticed that the that the giants are I mean sometimes. Good. But I do I do like uh lakes. I saw a fish one time in one and it was shiny and then I ate it. <laughs> <laughs> At the mention of um not liking people uh and giants being mean and stuff, Tobias like has a sympathetic expression and nods and understanding. It's like, yeah, I get that. You're the tallest of all of us, you giant (laughs) man, you. Actually, (laughs) uh, Peek says, you're very tall. Yeah. I get that a lot. We can drop you off along the way. (laughs) Well, it is the lake pretty does it have fish in it i think so okay fish fish is food so that's that's good (laughs) bless her i will kind of gesture towards the cart and if the guards give any flack for this i will glare at them (laughs) they do look very suspicious and one of them does kind of grumble a little bit uh, but since it's, since the goblin is not trying to get into the uh, into the carriage with Lord Thanon, they're like, well, if these idiots want to like get robbed <laughs> or bitten, uh, that's on them. Uh, Lord Thanon is our responsibility. Um, and Peek, she, well, she's small. Let's see. Yeah, she has a hard time kind of getting up onto the cart. <laughs> <laughs> Samir will will offer to help her up. Oh, thank you. And she reaches into her bag and hands uh, you a copper piece. <laughs> you very much. As much as I'm as I'm delighted by Peek, I am keeping a eagle eye on her. Okay. Pants. <laughs> All right. Um, so uh, once. Once it's all settled, um, Peek kind of just sits in the cart and kicks her legs and chews on the the jerky that Tobias gave her and kind of just talks. <laughs> um, she She's just kind of babbling about whatever comes to mind. Um, like... Uh, and this other time, I actually saw a deer, and it was it was shiny. It was like gold, Whoa. and it lived up where it snows. And then this other time, <laughs> she's just like talking and talking. <laughs> Lish is very interested about that story. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Yeah, Erin is. Yeah, she's captivated. she's just telling telling stories. Um, in like while she's with you, she kind of you kind of get the impression that uh, she lived with a goblin clan um, up in the unclaimed lands, but she. <laughs> Like they, they were people were very distrustful of her and her clan, um, and she was an end to that. So she, mm-hmm. she she's kind of just been wandering the last uh, year or two, um, and she found the cards uh, on, along the way, and she's like, "Wow, I've heard that these could tell the future. I'm gonna try and figure out how to do that because I'm." I'm a 16 year old and I'm. <laughs> I know things. everything and, about everything. And my parents are living up north and I'm on my own and I'm strong and I'm awesome. And so you, you kind of get that vibe out of her. <laughs> Lish would be very interested in asking her about any information she might know or any story she might know about uh, lay- layers of fey creatures or. Uh, any fey creature she may have encountered in her travels? Well, I... Hmm. I met a thing one time that looked like a goblin, but it had goat's feet, and it it wasn't a goblin because of the feet. Um, <laughs> and, and there were some fey creatures up in the forest. Uh, the forest is weird, though. It, it, there's a big fire. Um, Which that, forest? That, Aaron Blanches. Um, Which forest? The, the one up, up north. The one up north. Would um, I know what forest that is? <laughs> and Aaron's um, going to say, uh, do you have uh, any any good stories about about that fire? Not really. I wasn't there for that. Uh, gonna... When did this big fire happen? Oh. Before your time? I mean, not really. I, I was little, little. I'm, I'm all grown up now, though. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. <laughs> you you must be middle aged for how mature you are. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we'll just kind of keep listening to her stories, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll tell you about rolling inside check. Sure. How full of shit is she with all of her stories? <laughs> oh, that's a two on the die, so a nine. These stories are really neat. <laughs> I mean, a lot of them I hear for the first time. <laughs> she's clearly a very well-traveled goblin mm-hmm. who knows what she's talking about, about everything. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have a map in my head anymore. Life's hard. <laughs> I might try to roll insight too. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I mean, I'm listening oh, to her stories. Okay. Well, uh, that's a natural one. <laughs> um, Demir, you're you're a really good listener. You're asking like all the right follow up questions, and it's really awesome. And she's you're you're enraptured by this. Um, Erin, you, uh, uh, sorry, someone's vacuuming in the middle of this. Um, Erin, you get the impression that, uh, uh, she might be embellishing a few details in a few, in a few stories, especially for the follow-up questions that Demir is asking. (laughs) God, I love that. (laughs) Do um, I notice anything so, in the way that Aaron spoke about that fire? Was interested in that fire? Roll an, roll an insight check. 
<laughs> Damn, I'm getting that's insight. A, that's check. a lot better. That's a 24. <laughs> <laughs> so, Erin, there. <laughs> Tell me about your reaction to the hearing about that fire. Um, let's see. You can see at the mention of fire itself, Aaron is just kind of kind of scared. Um, he doesn't really like fires. Uh, you get that distinct impression. Um, possibly related to that, he has a huge ass burn scar. But that's, you know, that's just an assumption. Uh, anyway, and when he asked her about uh, where specifically, well, when he's asking follow-up questions about the fire, where and when uh, it took place, you do get the sense that he has a personal investment in it. And her answers seem to confirm something that he was, he was already thinking. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Tobias wanted to say something. Uh, yeah, when there's kind of a lull in the uh, conversation, um, when she's like finished with the story and stuff, uh, Tobias is going to ask the... So you said you came from the north. I did, but I, I think it's more fun down here. There's, there's more uh, creatures like in here. Like there are these really big ones that are white with black patches, and they live in the fences. Oh my god! It's cows. <laughs> I don't know the cows? word for them in common. Cows? Is that what it is? Out of character. That was what she was describing. Like you said, black and white creatures behind fences. Yeah. Okay. I was just making sure I heard right, so I should remember it properly. She doesn't uh, doesn't know the word for them in common. In in character. Those are called cows. Oh, I love. I was gonna say, oh, I love cows, and kind of unconsciously like rub his leather vest. The like deadpan at which Tobias says. <laughs> Those are cows. <laughs> <It's very laughs> I'm sorry. No, he didn't say it. it yeah. Yeah, he, he says like, oh, those are those are cows. I just appear dead pan all the time. They're, they're funny. They're very, they're soft if you can touch them, but they're shy. A lot of creatures are like that, I find. They also have wet noses. It's, it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to ask, have you by chance seen anyone, a, a hunter specifically with the scratch on his jaw? Um, let me see. <laughs> uh, not really. Gonna I mean, say. there are lots of hunters. I was gonna say, or, or perhaps a red, tall person, um, with with horns. Uh, no. It's gonna know. You give me a um. She kind of switches back to goblin. What the fuck are they called in common? <laughs> what are they called in Goblin? Uh, uh, demon Ken? <laughs> Demons. Tieflings? And tieflings. she switches back to, uh, to Common. A Tiefling? Yeah! Uh, no, no, I haven't seen one of those. Well, I mean, I have seen them, but like, I don't, I don't really Fifth talk one. to them. Makes sense. All right. Well, it certainly sounds like you've seen a lot of interesting things, though. I travel a lot. And <laughs> she, like, looks very proud. <laughs> <laughs> We're very proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. And 
so I'm so proud of her so much. I so. wish I had like a trinket or something. Oh gosh. <laughs> um like eventually I'm as see, like look through Oh actually I'm going to um I'm going to give her a piece of the jewelry um that I on off the patterns or I'm just going to, uh, like a whatever would fit around her wrist <laughs> um if there is something like that or if not then some earrings or something like that just a little piece of shiny in exchange okay. so <laughs> what the uh the way goblin anatomy works in my mind is that their um their hands are kind of akin to the size of human hands except the palm is smaller but with and longer fingers but proportionally similar um but their wrists are smaller so you'd be able to if you have a bracelet it would fit on be loose on her uh on her wrist but it would be able to stay on because of her hands is that yeah like I'm, I'm going to give her uh a piece of the jewelry like long. okay Just... she kind of gasps and looks at it and she's like turning it over in her hands and she's like oh this is very shiny and she kind of like pauses and is like am i allowed to keep it <laughs> <laughs> yes of course <laughs> it's all all yours she looks delighted and puts it in her bag with the rest of the stuff. And she's like, I like this one. Thanks for a minute. And then digs around in her bag and pulls something out and hands it to you. Do you take it? Sure. So this is an actual diamond. <laughs> uh, oh, yes. <laughs> Specifically, a diamond worth about 300 gold pieces. I know, we can, I know we can wear a lot of fancy it. clothes with that. I know it's not much, but it, it's a good trade. Bless her heart. Thank you so much, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, as the... Thank you. I... That one was the biggest one I had. It's not... I don't think it's worth much, but it's... It's shiny. Shinies for shinies. I love it. So you... You got yourself a revivify rock there. <laughs> um... <laughs> Ooh, that's excellent. <laughs> um, but yeah, as as the day progresses, she's she's talking and gesturing with her hands, and eventually she like pulls out her deck and starts shuffling it more as something to do while she's doing. It. And she she camps with you guys the the next evening, um, and more of the guard. The guards seem more alert with her being present uh, although I, I mentioned that I am changing the the, the stereotypes for for goblins um, people are still suspicious of them because they have different ideas of mm. what belonging is um, but yeah the guards are more suspicious um, who's taken watch Tobias will. Yeah. All right. So, uh, first, first watch then. Sure. Yes. Oh, okay. Um, I, I will do watch for the first four hours and sleep for the next four. Okay. Uh, so, Lish, we'll roll, roll perception we'll check. Lish. 
that's, a, <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a 21. <laughs> oh, okay. I rolled a 14, but it was like about to land on a four. And I was uh, like, no. <laughs> gotcha. Um, okay. Yeah. You keep an eye out. Um, the night seems calm. Uh, there are indeed cows in the distance, uh, as described by Peak, but she's she's asleep. Um, cats curl curl up, of course, and she's curled up very much like a cat, kind of near where you guys had your your campfire. Um, and she's kind of just like asleep and hugging her bag to yeah. herself. Uh, next watch would be Toby. Oof, that's going to be a nine. You're, uh, you're just kind of tired. Yeah, you're kind of, you keep kind of like. Can I nick my hand on my bow again? I'll take uh, damage for it. Sure. Sure. Yes. Uh, you, you're falling asleep. Oh my, and you're dumb. You, you nick your hand. Hi. Um. You uh, nick your hand on your bow and kind of like press against that to to try and stay focused and stay awake, and your mind keeps wandering to uh, to Demir. <laughs> um, and third watch. Are Toby and I up at the same time, or wouldn't we be? What you wouldn't? Okay. You're you're doing your your resty time now it's Erin's turn and you're awake also but hey uh, all right uh, hey oh my god hmm that is a six you fall asleep during your watch. <laughs> no. But it's okay, because nothing happens as far as you know. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, the night passes uneventfully. Um, you guys continue on your your uh, journey back to Opius. Um, and so sooner rather than later, uh, you can see the, the city the, on the horizon as you approach and um, Peek gets really excited when she sees the lake and she starts kind of just like, doing that to whoever she's next to and she's like is that the one with the fish in it yes yes it is <laughs> oh it's very shiny <laughs> it's true it's um, very pretty yeah. and then upon reaching the the gates of the city uh the guards begin to take the horses and the carriages uh, to the stables and uh, Peek says um, well thank, thank you for the ride um, yes. uh, here and she hands over another button to whoever <laughs> wants to take it um, these, are, these buttons do not match by the way they are different buttons <laughs> um, can I have Aaron it has get, I really no Erin has yet to get a button and Erin is coveting a button she okay. can see she can see that you guys both want a button, so she pulls out another one in hand. <laughs> again, okay. once again, none of them match. Um, and she says, uh, thank, thank you for the ride. Uh, once, once I know how to use the cards, I I will uh, read for chips. Okay. If I can find okay. you. Do you live here? We are staying here for now okay well I'll, I'll figure it out it's fine uh i'm gonna go catch a fish now i right. wish you good luck and be safe uh thank you you too and she she wanders off 
and I think that's inshallah we will meet again (laughs) and that's where we'll call (laughs) session with you guys about to re-enter the city (laughs) all right oh I love her so much so good (laughs) so thanks for playing guys woo we got a hint, a scrape under Aaron's thing. I want to know. <laughs> Glad y'all are interested. <laughs> All right. So I am so sorry. <laughs> don't be. <laughs> <laughs> Never. Man, you just know that the the moment that Tobias and Lish were like in the same area again, Lish was like, eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> Tobias would probably flush a little at that, like look away nervously. Like, <laughs> <he's> like <laughs> Lish is like, he's not making any eye contact with me. He's avoiding me. I need to look. <laughs> well, it's like, it's clear though that he's like, Embarrassed. When he wakes up for his watch and was just like right there. Try to avoid eye contact with the that motherfucker. (laughs) No, you Lish like literally just sitting there like chin hands, like on his belly, feet kicking up behind him, like so. (laughs) Spill the tea, sis. You've been avoiding my gaze. We both know you can't do that forever. <laughs> uh, boy. Yeah, you're pretty pleased. <laughs> <laughs> boy. Man, there's a whole character that Felix missed out on. Damn. Oh. <laughs> <Aww. laughs> well, well, Probably. Probably. Hopefully. Conning people with tarot Probably. cards. Uh, I mean, she so can good. con. She's also hoping to actually learn how to read them. She doesn't know. She Everybody found should, them on a dead body. <laughs> Everybody should probably check their pockets before she gets out of eyesight. <laughs> <laughs> Just to be sure. Oh, oh, Tobias is going to make sure he has his fucking sending stone. I mean, the sure, shiniest just before, of rocks. Just before we leave, because we might forget uh, next time, you can roll a quick perception or investigation to see if you have all your things. Uh, I'm going to roll investigation because that's a better one. The 18 for me. Not that I have Fuck, That's a 10. Oh, that's a 7. Um, none of you guys really seem to be missing anything. Uh, there are maybe two more tra- uh, uh, rations from the caravan as a whole that are missing. Mm-hmm. But beyond that... <laughs> That's okay. She, she is a woman those. of her word. And she, <laughs> she gave you a revivify rock in exchange for both a bracelet and the ride. So. I know. Yeah. Bless I her heart. And you guys have buttons now, so. Yes. Buttons, buttons. Prize That's- possession. I'm putting that in my inventory bet. Oh, hello. You should. I already <laughs> did. Yeah. The buttons are shiny. Um, some of them are the the typical um, four hole buttons. One of them, it looks like it might have come off of someone's waistcoat. Uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> And I know. And I know. <laughs> um, but anyway, thanks for playing, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for DMing. Yeah. We'll whoop, whoop. See you next time. <laughs> now my shiny button collection <sighs> can begin. <laughs> it's what Beth would have wanted. <laughs> oh. Lish hasn't like seen a lot of shiny things that seem worth taking so far <laughs> well Lish soon enough them? Hmm? would Lish just take them depends on what they are 
Anywho, no, I'm <laughs> gonna stop the Zoom session now. So thanks, guys. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye.